this will be one of my last Scottish videos for a while. Don't worry, um, I will be coming back. Obviously, I live in Scotland, um, so I will be coming back, but this will be one of my last, I don't think it'll be the last, um, might be my penultimate, but I'm going away at the end of this week. I've got some really, really exciting plans coming up, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Um, I'll announce on there where I'll be because I'll be able to announce on there before I'm able to edit and upload videos from where I'm actually going but it should be really really exciting I've got some really cool stuff planned outside of the UK that I can't wait for it's getting a bit grimmer now as you can see but we are back at Livingston today and I think Livingston have one of the best sort of areas for media and for the press so I'll take you inside and I'll show you come on DJ Malcolm Connor Right, good to see you all boys. I've seen a couple of you before, a couple of you here before yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, how would you say Livy have got on this season? Good. They've been okay, like getting draws with Rangers and nearly drew with them the last game. Yep, they've done bigger in, uh, better in some of the bigger games, haven't yeah, they, this yeah. season? But at home they've been pretty like, outstanding, yep. getting solid victories. Ross County wasn't such a good game, but like Kilmarnock and Hearts. Yep. Yeah. On fire. Yeah. New players on fire. New players on fire. Yeah, he's having a good season. And Aberdeen today, what do you reckon the score will be? 2 1 uh, Livingston. 2 1 Livingston. It was 5 0 the last time we played them away. So I'm going to go for a 1 1 or 2 1 Livingston. I think uh, Newbury's going to get a last minute. Newbury last minute winner. Oof. 1 1 draw and uh, Aberdeen will get a penalty for VAR. As I can see from the flag. Aberdeen fans obviously yeah, yeah. supporting North Macedonia, right? Yeah. Mayovsky, where he's from. Um, how long did it take you to get down here? Are you from Aberdeen? Yeah, okay. yeah. We left it uh, about half two. Oh, okay. So it, took us, it took us a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Good away day though, on a day like today. Yeah. Enjoyable, aren't they? Are you happy with how the season's gone so far? I think it could be a bit better. Yep. Be a bit We've been alright, but it's just our away game seems to be our problem. And you're third in the league right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah we are. Be good to get some European football back at Pataudry next year. Yeah. Uh, Miofsky, his home scoring record is very good. Yeah. But his away scoring record, I think he struggled with confidence away from home. Now he said that, I reckon Miofsky's going to score a couple I think of yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so for you guys anyway. I think are so. you confident? What do you reckon the score will be? I think we're going to win today, yeah. What do you reckon? I think we're going to win 3 1, I'm going to say. And? I'm saying 1 0 Dons. What do you think the score will be today? 2 1 Lily. 2 1 Lily. Nice mate. Enjoy. So as you would have just seen, uh, just went inside the little media press room there, got myself a coffee and something for the game starting. But I am now currently with... Uh, Michael. You've been working here at Livy for how long did you A uh, year and a half, so this is second season with him now. Year and a half now, and how good does it feel to be involved with a club like Livy in the Premiership? All the good things uh, you were just telling it's, I, I've been doing this a long time. This is season number 11, at the best club I've ever worked in, and I've been ac across Europe and different parts of the world. Wow. And, it's the most enjoyable place I've been. And look at, sort of, for me personally, like we're stood on the centre spot right now before yeah. Livy versus Aberdeen in the Scottish Premiership. Just how much of a welcoming club are Livingston for stuff like that? Uh, if you speak to any, if you were to go into the press room now and ask people what it's like when they come to Livy, they'll tell you it's one of the, the most welcomest, friendliest clubs you can go to. Yeah. Uh, even down to photographers, being a photographer myself, kind of know what it's like going to other clubs so that there isn't space. Here we actually provide room, we provide food, hot drinks. Yep. It's, again, it's this kind of, we're a community club, so it's just making sure that we kind of cater for everyone and welcome everyone. Cole, you were on the video the last time I was here at Livingston against yeah. Celtic just recently. How would you say things have been going since then for Livy? I think it's been going good. They've yep. been uh, beating hearts this season, Hibs. Uh, it was 1 1 against Rangers. I feel yep. like they've been going uh, quite good. Yep, they've had an okay season so far. And tonight they play Aberdeen. Do you know much about Aberdeen and are you worried as a Livy fan sort of going into it? Yeah, they are a big team. The fans. A, a big club as well. Yeah. So I think, uh, I mean, it is going to be tough. I think they are going to uh, score a few goals. They're third just now in the league, and will you be ball boy again today? Uh, yeah. And what do you reckon the score will be? I think it'll be 2 1 Levy.
I'm Libby. 2 1 Libby. I'm thinking it's going to be like a draw. Probably 1 0. 1 0. I'm saying 2 1 Libby. 3 0 Libby. Stephen and Spencer. Oh, and you uh, just started a uh, channel of your own, right? That's right, Dan and Lance Soccer. And so you go around the country, I guess, watch your Yeah, as many games as we can. Friday night we were at uh, Rugby Park for uh, Kamara and Livingston. Yep. Great. Five goals. Yep. Great games. Great games. And today, Libby Aberdeen, what's it going to be? Yeah, I think 2-1 Aberdeen. 2-1 Aberdeen, what do you reckon? 2 each I'm going for. Right lads, so you wanted to give you a club a shout out. Who's at East Calder? Uh, East Calder Football Club. Man. Big up East Calder. Big game for Livy tonight, playing against Aberdeen who are third. Are you confident they'll get a result? I'm confident we'll take away one point, but I can't see us taking away three. One point, so you reckon a draw, what do you think score will be? 1-1. 1-1, 2-1. 2-1. I'm going to get 2-2 draw. Bit of a scramble, I couldn't really see what was happening up here. Um, Livia won no up here, but look at the Aberdeen fans over there, still singing. Oh, VAR are checking it. Well, they've given it. They've given the goal to Livy. Early goal here, we're only... Less than 10 minutes into the end, about 8 minutes in, I think. I think VAR may be looking at handballing it. It's just going to be the corner. Oh, skills. Olivia oh. playing like Barcelona, it. He's checking a the handball. There's going to be mad confusion right now. The ref's checking a VAR call. Aberdeen are about to have a free kick up here. He's checking a VAR call for something that happened two, three, four minutes ago up in the other other box. Surely that means Devlin's uh, yellow card gets rescinded as well. He's given the penalty. He has given the penalty. You will not believe this. Oh my God, that was honestly age ago. And Devlin's asking if he's still being booked. I think. He's going to ask the ref, look. He got booked for that foul I just showed you down here. He's asking him, he's like, why are you keeping me booked? VAR in Scotland is one of the strangest VAR moments I've ever seen, but the penalty's about to be taken. I'm sure that's who volleyed it just then. And it's a formula for man. Jamal George has the ball in his hands now. We've just had an announcement. We're in stoppage time of the first half, and they've just said that there's they're checking a handball. Another one for VAR as a possible penalty. Everyone's like, what for? 
I could not tell you what that was for or when it was. It could be 10 minutes ago for all we know. No one even knows who, what end. This game has been so good so far. So has that everything. Ref's going to look at it. Could be for Aberdeen for when, uh, maybe when Clarkson hit the bar up here and there's a bit of a melee, I don't know. Penalty Aberdeen. We must be like 10, 20 seconds away from like the end of the, uh, end of the half. It's a yellow card for Livingston as well. And it will be a penalty. It's Majofsky against Jamal George. Wow, this game, VAR, man. Shamal George had an amazing game so far. And he's kept off. Oh, it's back out to Mosky. Oh, he saved it again. Shamal George, look at them. All going to him. What a guy, man. Look at this. And that is half time. Whilst the players are walking off for half time, I just need to recap this incredible game so far. We've had two insane bar calls. The player's gone on for so long until they pulled it back to check the decision. And we don't know what they're really checking it for. Um, Shamal George has had an incredible game in goal for Libby. He's made some amazing saves. The save from the penalty, then the save to the, um, to the rebound as well. Aberdeen have been good. Just the game has been unbelievable so far. So much action, and it feels like both goal mouths have seen a lot of action. Not much in the middle of the pitch, but it's been end to end. Such a great game. Let's hope we see a good bit of action at this end in the second half for Libby attacking as well. They've been so good. I know I said they were like Barcelona in the first half. That might be harsh to Libby. They've been like two Barcelonas. See you in the second half. What did you think of the first half? Oh, Shema, and he didn't just save the penalty, but he also got the rebound oh, as well. Aye. What a guy. And final score, what are you uh, saying? 3 0 over. 3 0. 4 1. I'm going to wait, hang on. I think it's going to be 4 0 1. And 7 1. 7 1, he's going for. I knew it was going to be big. I know it's going to be big. What do you reckon? Uh, 5 0. No. Right, the game has just uh, stopped here, and I think there could be another bar call here. Again, you just don't know. That's the thing with Scotland, like it's completely new here, so you don't know what's going on. Should be a throw in right now. Could be a penalty. Here we go. Jeez, here we go. I think it's going to be to Aberdeen, so Shamal George has got another penalty to save here, probably. Rafs come to look at it again. Deja vu. This is the third bar call for a penalty today. This is absolutely mad. People in the press box here are absolutely baffled with some of the decisions, etc. Who knows if it was a pop handball or not? I'll have to check a bit later on, but I don't know if they're just doing a brush of the arm and it's a penalty these days. There's been a few of them this game, and oh, Shamal George has got a hand to it there. And it's 2-1 uh, now, game on. That's not booing. It's a lad called Duke who scored for uh, Aberdeen. And when he comes on, when he scores, the Aberdeen fans sing, Duke. There you go, 2 1. deep into stoppage time now. Aberdeen with the free kick. There's barely been any Livy attacks in the second half. I feel like they 
went in 2-0 up at half time and just wanted to conserve. Obviously they've conceded a penalty in the second half. Um, but it's basically been all Abdeen and the first half is all Livy, so it's all been up that end, annoyingly. But here we go. Lewis, big Hi. ground hopper, aren't you? You're a Celtic yes, fan, but you yes. like to go and uh, watch football around the country. What's your favourite ground you've been to? Or maybe a couple of grounds. Um, I really enjoyed the Bernabeu. I did the stadium tour there a few years nice. ago. Um, I was there for about three hours, actually. Um, you got to take as much time Feel as like you wanted to. Can't you self-guided tour at the Bernabeu? Yeah. And so what did you think of today's game? Oh, VAR was certainly uh, the major talking point above anything else. Um, so. It was good to see a bit of drama for once um, Yeah, a major game. It was so. a mad one. Do you reckon Livy will finish top half? Perhaps. They've definitely got a good chance to be the, their playing at the moment. So yeah. Perfect. All the best to them. Well, mate, all the best. Hope to see you at another ground soon. He's back. Livy's famous ball boy. You got the score right, didn't you? 2-1. Yeah. Mate, love that. How are you, mate? You okay? Good, yeah. You're a Livy fan? Uh, Nicky Devlin's son. Oh, you're son. Nicky Devlin. Oh, okay, yeah. nice. How did you think he played? I think he played pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> A few mistakes though, but <laughs> yeah, he'll be it. happy with the three yeah. points. So yeah, you were on my Livingston Celtic video. People yeah. might recognise you from that. Yeah. Today, Aberdeen. Uh, are you happy with the performance? I, I think it was good. I think I'm proud of um, Jack Westwater, Sean Kelly. They did good. For entertainment value, that has got to be one of the best games that I've seen all season. I know I seem to say that a lot. That was the best game I've seen all season, because um, you see one and then you end up just thinking it was amazing at the time but you forget the ones that you've been at or whatever but the amount of VAR the amount of chances the saves Shamal George he always seems to play well when I see him for Livy new play as well up front Nicky Devlin right back some really good players in there who had some good games today up to fourth Livingston I always seem to do this you see a team play in Scotland who start the day eighth or ninth they end up in fourth when they win um, it was like St Johnston the other day they were up to fifth after that game that win against Rangers they've dropped to sixth because of other results now but after that game they were fifth and they started the day off as like relegation candidates it's so tight there's so little that separates the non-old firm teams in the Scottish Prem that um, you literally can start the day off at the bottom end of the table and finish it near the top so it's a weird old league um, but I love it as you know please hit that like button please subscribe if you're new sorry Aberdeen fans you come all this way uh, a long old trip for you to um, go back with no points or whatever so yeah I'm going to uh, keep up the Scottish vids once I'm back from my trip you'll have to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to find out a little bit more about that I'll leave some videos on screen please click on to carry on watching cheers and I'll see you in the next one